All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waharakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out there and in his truth. I'm Pataka Moth Jim as Dallas, and I'm just coming back with a little continuation of the last lesson I was just doing, uh, going into how the the, uh, the Most High has a uh, a chosen nation, a chosen people, you know, and that how He's not the power of all nations slash people on the earth. I'm just going to continue. Uh, more scriptures came to me, so I just figured I'd just continue it. Uh, do a little continuation video. You know, I got a few more scriptures I want to go into just to further make the point, man. You know, and uh, uh, the first scripture, I'm going to get right into it. The first scripture, uh, I'm going to grab is Second Ezra, the fifth chapter. And uh don't want to get to the point or, you know what, let me jump up some. Uh, uh, this is Second Ezra chapter 5, I'll start at verse 23 and read down. <clears throat> because the Lord, the Most High, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, whom the world ignorantly refers to as God, Jehovah, uh, uh, Yahweh, Ahia, you know, true biblical name, Yahweh, uh, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly refers to as Jesus Christ. Those entities, man, they have a chosen everything, man. You know what I'm saying? Including the people. So I just want to go through this real quick because we're going to go through a list of things that the Lord chose, man. You know, of course, the Lord uh, created all things. But among those things, he has a chosen of those things, man. So I just want to go through that just to continue to make the point, man. You know, the, the, the Most High has a chosen nation of people that he's dealing with in the earth, man. He's not dealing with all people. And he makes that point with everything, you know, and, and it's going to go into it. So let me let me uh, let me read this. Second, I just five and twenty three and said, oh, you how about you shy that bearest rule of every wood of the earth and of all the trees thereof thou hast chosen thee. One only vine, you know what I'm saying? And of the Salaki, verse 24, and of all the lands of the whole world, thou hast chosen thee one pit, and of all the flowers thereof, one lily. So it's just going through all the things that the Lord chose, you know what I'm saying? All the different things that the Lord chose out of all the things that he made, you know what I'm saying? He has a chosen of all of those things that he that he uh, uh, created, man. You know, right here saying the flower, man, you know, which is his favorite flower is a lily, man. You know what I'm saying? Which, you know, the Lord created roses and 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 uh, orchids and, and, you know, all types of, of and manner of flowers, man. You know what I'm saying? But he chose the lily of all those flowers. Are the flowers complaining? No, man, <laughs> you know, only you people, you know, so let's continue it. Let's let's keep going. And of all the depths of the sea, thou hast filled thee one river and of and of all builded cities, thou hast hallowed Zion unto thyself. So of all these places on the earth, these cities, he chose Zion, Israel, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the land he chose uh, uh, for his people, his chosen. He chose the people. Then he chose the land, man. You know what I'm saying? He chose the land. He didn't cho he didn't choose the land and then and, and well this is my land so let me see uh, who what people can I put there no man he chose the people from the foundation of the uh, of the uh, of the world man before he created anything he already knew who has chosen a, a nation of people was going to be man you know what I'm saying so and then he chose as a matter of fact there's a scripture let me see if I can find it real quick I believe it's, it's in First Maccabees if I'm not mistaken uh, the fifth chapter let me let me get this real quick then I'll come back. Uh, I believe it's 5 and 17 or 19, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, uh, that's not it. Salakia. So uh, maybe a second. Let me see if it's second Maccabees. There it is. The second Maccabees chapter 5 and verse 19. Nevertheless, the Most High did not choose the people for the place's sake, but the place for the people's sake. You know what I'm saying? Because he had already chose the people. Then he chose that land and he told the Israelites to go and take that land from the Hamites. You know, the land of Canaan, which is now today the land of Israel. So, so. Uh, just going back to uh, Second Ezra now. The fifth chapter. And verse, uh, where are we at? Twenty four. Or 25. 
uh, verse 25, second Edges 5 and 25, and of all the depths of the sea, thou hast filled thee one river, and of all builded cities, thou hast hallowed Zion unto thyself. So the land of Israel, man. So he chose the land of Israel, man. You know, and I'm just going to make these specific points. You know what I'm saying? Of course, the, 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 the flowers, the lily out of all the flowers, the place is Israel of all the places on the earth. You know, the, the Most High is responsible for all these things, but he has specific uh, 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 places and things that he uh, 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 likes to himself, man. Second, there's just five and twenty six. And of all the fowls that are created, thou hast named thee one dove. So of all like the buzzards and the, and the eagles, you know, the the uh, the ravens and the pigeons, you know, all these different the hummingbird and all the different uh, <coughs> uh, fowls. So like yeah, the Lord chose the dove, man, you know, so so he's showing you he's choosing from all of his creation. He's choosing things, man. And of all the cattle that are made, thou hast uh, provided thee one sheep. You know, so of, of the cattle, man, the horses and the cows and, and, and all the different cattle that he that he uh, uh, that he created. He chose the sheep, <laughs> you know, none of these other things are complaining, man. You know, only the people. And here is the point. Verse 27. And among all the multitudes of people, just like he made all the cows and all, uh, all the cattle and all the flowers and all the uh, uh, the fowls, you know, the, the, the lands and all these different things. The, the, the wood and trees and all these different things he chose from all of those things. Now he chose from the people as well. Second, Edges five and 27. And among all the multitudes of people, thou hast gotten thee one people, one people. Not the whole planet, man. <laughs> Stop, man. You know, these people are bugged out, man. Uh, uh, vocab Malone, Christians, the unlearned, even some Israelites are bugged out, man, that know that they're Israel, you know. But he's clearly telling you right here, second Ezra five and 27 and among all the multitudes of people, there's 18 nations on the planet. Thou has gotten thee one people. And we know who that people is Isaiah 44 and one. I bought that out in the last lesson. You know, he chose Israel, man, which we now know today. The true biblical Israelites are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans and Seminole Indians of Negroid descent. And of course, we never leave out the scattered seed, the Gentiles, those foreigners, uh, the speckled birds, man. That's going to come looking like the other nations. We teach that here at Great Millstone GMS, man, beginning starting with Apostle Tahar on down, man. You know, no one will ever be able to say that 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 we don't teach that we teach that, man. You know, and a lot of these groups, especially these so-called black, all black Israelites, they have a problem with that. But they, hey, it's going to, they going to see, man, you know, the Lord is, 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 is this thing is, is spiritual, man, not carnal. So he's got him one people, man, you know, and unto this people whom thou lovest. So he loved, he loves his people, his chosen nation of people, the Israelites. He loves them, man. You know, and it goes into that uh, uh, in Malachi, the first chapter. You know, and uh, uh, and it's reiterated in Romans, the ninth chapter, man. Paul re reiterated from Malachi, man. You know, he loves his nation, man. You know, and people have a problem because he loves his chosen nation, which we now know who those people are, man. They're the only people on the planet that line up with the prophecies, man. You know, in, of, of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, man. You know, 15 through 68. They're the only ones that line up with that, man. You know, so no other nation does. So we now know who these people are, man. You know. So he loves that nation, man. So. And unto this people, the, the, the nation of Israel, who whom thou lovest, thou gavest a law that is approved of all. And of course, the, the law is going to be approved of all because that's what's uh, uh, coming into the earth. Matthew six and ten. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, man. And there's perfect order in the heavens, man. So that's going to be established in the earth. You know what I'm saying? That's what this 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 place lacks, man. The laws and righteousness of the Lord, man. You know, but that's what's coming. So it'll be approved by all, man. You know, and those that 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 try to go against it, that's where that that rod of 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 uh, uh, breaking them uh, with a rod of iron, man. That rod of correction, uh, written in Psalms the second chapter and Revelations the second chapter as well, man. You know, being in joint air with the Lord, man. You know. Yahweh Shai and his elect, that governing body, man, the 144,000, man, spoken of in Revelations, the seventh chapter, man. 
You know what I'm saying? That government government that's on it on, on on the on your Hawashai shoulders that's written in Isaiah the ninth chapter, man. You know what I'm saying? So so he gave them the law, man. So let's prove let's prove that. You know, that law was given to only Israel, no one else, man. This is Psalms 1, 147 and uh, verse 19. And it reads Psalms 147, 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. What's the word of the Lord? The Bible. It says he showed it unto Jacob, man. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel, you know, and I, sh and I will punish you for your iniquities. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he tells his nation that, man, out of all the families of the earth. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, let me get that real quick, and then we'll come back to Psalms 147. This is Amos chapter 3, and I'll start at the top at verse 1. Hear this word that Yahweh Basham Shai hath spoken against you, O children of Israel. So he's talking to the children of Israel, against the whole family which I bought up from the land of Egypt. No one came out of Egypt but the Israelites, man, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. So out of, out of all the, the, the 18 nations, he only knows his one nation, that same one people that we were reading in second Ezra, you know, that he chose, man, Israel. You know what I'm saying? He don't, he don't know these other nations, man. He, although he created them, he's not with them. This Bible is very clear, man, as to what the, how the Lord feels, you know, and, and, and what he's doing in the earth, man. So it says, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. So the other 17 nations are, are hey, they're through, man. Sorry. It's, we're reading it. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. So, hey, man, that's, we're reading that right now in, in, in Psalms 147, man. Let me go back to Psalms 147. So it, this is all about the Israelites, man. Psalms 147, 19, he showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. So those judgments for going off, Israel immediately gets dealt with, man. You know, these other nations can, can do whatever, and it's like nothing happens to them, man, because the Lord ain't concerned with them right now, man. Now, they're eventually going to get dealt with. You know, the Lord deals with everybody, but immediately the Israelites are dealt with, man. That's how you know who the people are. So those statutes and judgments, man, he had verse 20. He hath not dealt so with any nation. So he ain't dealt so like that with any other nations because he did not give them the laws, man. So he's not the statutes and judgments aren't coming upon these other nations as they do upon the Israelites, man. You know, these other nations can eat pork and, and, sh and shrimp, crab, lobster, alligator, uh, 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 eel and all these octopus and all rats and, and cats and dogs. And these people are eating Moab going crazy over there, you know, and Esau is right behind him, man. They eat everything, man. You no know, coming out of the caves. I expect that. You know what I'm saying? They eat any and everything. But they live long lives, man. Well, in age, well into age, you know. Jake eat pork and die at uh, 35, man, 40. That's the difference, man. The Lord is showing you, you know, you can't do what these people do, man, because the statutes and judgments are on you, man. Those judgments are coming. He hath not dealt so with any other nation, with any nation. And as for his, as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, And that's, that's the point I just made, man. They can do all these things and eat all this stuff and seem like they can get away with it. And, 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 and Jake tries to follow suit. And then that nigga fall down dead, man. You know, because you can't do those things because you have uh, 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 the laws, man. He's dealing with you, you know, and you're going to come back to that before it's over with, man. You know what I'm saying? Or not. <laughs> like my elder here, <laughs> Yatazak, uh, uh, likes to say, I like that phrase or not. You know, you don't have to. But just to further prove that that uh, and just further proving, you know, that the Lord has a chosen people and, 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 you know, he gave them the laws. You know, he loves those people. He gave them the laws and the laws are going to come forth out of them. Just like I just quoted Matthew six and ten. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, man. You know, when you read in Isaiah, the second chapter. It goes into the kingdom of heaven. You know, these things are coming. Isaiah 2 and 1, the word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. Judah, southern kingdom, Jerusalem, northern kingdom. That's the whole nation, man, which is coming back together uh, 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 pursuant to Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, as we speak, man. 
you know, and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain or the government of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai's house, you know, shall be established in the top of the mountains. The other governments, man, you know what I'm saying? These other governments are, are going to get a, a, a cast down, man. Daniel, the seventh chapter goes into that. You know, I beheld to the thrones were cast down. Revelations, the 19th chapter. And he, uh, Yahweh Shai, when he returns, it says he had many crowns upon his head, man, because he's coming to take these governments down. So the mountain of, the, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai shall be established in the top of the, the mountains. These other governments going to be one government, the government of, of, of uh, uh, Israel, man, you know, established in the earth and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto it. Yeah, man, the law of the Lord is going to go forth, man. It's going to go into it. It's going to go into it. Verse three, and many people shall go and say, come ye and let us go up to the mountain, the government of the Lord, to the house of the power of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways and we will walk in his paths for out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of Yahweh Bashim Shai from Jerusalem proving those people in the land today are not the people. The laws are not going forth out, out of Zion right now, man. They got the wickedest, man, they got kosher pork over there right now, uh, 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 kosher cigarettes, uh, uh, the wailing wall where they humping, a, which is, a, which is a, 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 another deity, a freaking idol, you know? I can't remember a name right now. Uh, a Diana or, or something like that, I believe is, is what it was, but it's an, it's an entity, uh, you know, and, uh, 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 you know, sucking babies penises and, and, you know, and then you got the biggest gay parade on the planet in, in, over there in Tel Aviv, man. You know, that's not the laws going forth out of Zion, man. You know, it's, it's so proven that they're not the people. Come on, man. You know, no, man. You know, and there's many other things you can go to to pr make these to prove these things, man. You know, but the law is going to go forth out of Zion and that's going to bring forth Matthew 6 and 10. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, man. You know, so a hey, it's all good. So verse four, and he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. This is Yahweh Shai, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation neither shall they learn war anymore that has not happened you know wars are happening as we speak over there man you know as a matter of fact uh uh, uh world war three we're on a cusp of that we're already in it but you know we had we just hadn't got to that actual physical hot war yet which is coming man we're on the verge of it so all these things proving that these people are not the people you know so, hey, it is what it is. As a matter of fact, Micah, the fourth chapter, re reiterates, uh, is saying the same thing. So Micah and Isaiah were saying the same things. Man, let's get it in Micah 2 real quick, then I'll get out of here. This is Micah 4 and 1. But in the last days it shall come to pass that the, that, that the mount of the house of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai shall be established in the top of the mountains. Same thing I just broke down in Isaiah. And it shall be exalted above the hills, and people shall flow unto it. And many nations shall come and say, come and let us go up to the mountain of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and to the house of, of, of the power of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways and we will walk in his paths for the law shall go forth out. Salaki, the law shall go forth of Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem, you know, which is not happening yet. This is not happening today. Man, them, them, them people over there are wicked as hell, man. You know, ain't no law going forth out of Zion, you know. But uh, uh, reading on and, and he shall judge among many people and rebuke strong nations far off and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation. Neither shall they learn war anymore. And, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and read the next next verse because it, it, you know, it goes into actually the kingdom, you know, which all of this is the kingdom. But further than Isaiah went uh, 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 verse four. But they shall sit every man under his vine and under his fig tree, and none shall make them afraid, for the mouth of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai has spoken it. Proving those people aren't the people, man. You know, they aren't dwelling over there in safety, as the scriptures say. The, 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 the true uh, biblical Israelites are going to dwell in the land in safety, man. Those people over there right now aren't in safety, you know. And that's what that, 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 that uh, every man dwelling under his, un, under his vine and under his fig tree represents. That's safety, man. You know, when you're sitting under a, under a tree, it, it casts a, a shade over you, man. You know, rest. It represents rest. 
You know what I'm saying? Safety, you know? That's what that represents, man. And what did the scripture say in, in Micah 2 and 10? This is not your rest. This was a sore destruction, man. <laughs> you know? So, so those people are not the people, man. It, it, it's very clear and easy and evident to see, man. You know? And it says, uh, and none shall make them afraid. Exactly, because we're going to dwell in safety, as the scriptures say. Those people aren't dwelling in safety. For the mouth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh of armies has spoken it. So this is the spoken word of the Lord, man. Isaiah 55 and 11. As a matter of fact, I'll end it off on that, man. I'll end it on that one. That's, my, that's one of my favorite scriptures, man. I love to quote it and love to get it. Pull it. This is Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. But it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it. These things are spoken. These things are going to happen, man. Nothing you, that vocab Malone can do. Nothing these Christians and unlearned can do. And there's nothing that these two third uh, uh, Israelites that's 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 earned as well, man. If they don't repent. They're going to be destroyed. Nothing they can do as well. These all black Israelites and all this crap, man. You know, which again, just 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 a little follow up from the from the previous lesson I did, man. Just further proving, hey, man, the Lord has a chosen nation. He he chose because he can, man. You know, and he goes into that in Romans the ninth chapter, man. He breaks it down very clearly that he can do what the hell he wants to do, man, because he's the Lord. He's the Potter. You're the clay. The Potter can do with the clay what he, his will, his pleasure, man. This is the pleasure of the Lord, man. This is the Lord's show. This is the Lord's program, man. You know, and that's just what it is, you know. So, hey, with that, hopefully this was edifying to the hopeful elect, which I hope to be a part of. Abarat Zababakasha. With that, giving all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waharakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the elect, the house of David, the Bayath, Shah Dawadash. Shalom.